Libertarian defeats a commie. South America is a wasteland of poverty. However, it was not always like this. It was once prosperous, but then the communist came. However, something has happened in Argentina that made me do a double take. The people there elected a libertarian over the socialist candidate. Now, I am not going to give Javier Millet a blanket recommendation based on his party, mostly because comparing countries by politics without considering their history is tricky. However, I do think that the rest of South America is going to be watching Argentina very closely to see what happens. If things go well, we may see similar revolutions on the rest of the continent. However, if things do not go well, or the public is made to perceive that it does not go well, this will set them back decades. A pure libertarian philosophy of government is painful in the short run, especially if one has grown dependent on the government. However, in the long term, it produces better results. The deck was stacked against Malay, and he was able to win. However, while the deck is stacked against libertarians in America, I do not have hope for them for the presidency. While I despise voting for the lesser of two evils, the deck is stacked against them in the very election cycle. Maybe if the Republican Party wins enough public support, the Democrat Party will fade away and the Libertarian Party can replace them. One can only hope. Maybe I'm just blowing smoke. Maybe I'm completely off my rocker, but that is just my opinion. And do not forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more. But before you go, click the link on the left to watch the full video, or click the link on the right to watch another video that you may enjoy.